Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Hi Rachel. So um, I, I keep saying camp because I, I I mean I grew up watching Jay's comedy movies yeah. as a kid, like and that it's it's informed a lot of like my own appreciation of comedy throughout the years. And so he does have this way of directing comedy into a campy yet emotional kind of like oh, status. Yeah. God, it's so well said. Um, yeah. And so for but for you both because you guys are in a lot a lot of this show together. How do you guys kind of approach the different genres that this show plays with? within these characters who are going through a lot and having to dissect their own grief in the midst of like these very high stake, funny situations almost. Yeah, I, I think you, it's so amazing that you immediately brought it to Jay Roach because mm -hmm. I can't imagine this in the hands of yeah. anyone else. You know, when we first read the script, it was like reading uh, 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 really the heroine and Patricia's character, sort of almost the anti-heroine mm. in a way, is is like she is going on this in, insane journey. And I think, you know, for, for the, the siblings and for, you know, Diane and Stuart, to, to be a little bit of the lens that the audience watches her through, you know, that can see her through and be the sort of, you know, the, the voice of reason, mm -hmm. you know? I think, you know, what was, what I thought was really important to the story was having those family members be a through line throughout the entire series so that Patricia is always going back to this, this, you know, sort of grounding force. And I think for us, Stuart and Diane are, you know, love her very much, but really just want to get her on the right path. And Diana is in the middle. She's a middle child. Stuart's the younger brother, and she trusts what Stuart has to say and what he wants her to do. But she also loves her big sister and wants her to succeed. Mm -hmm. So really, you know, it was it was entrusting this into Jay's hands and his vision for the entire series. And and it's rare you get a director on a series these days who directs all of the episodes. Yeah. So that was the mm -hmm. sort of consistent factor, which I think, you know, you spoke to perfectly at the beginning. It's, it's very Jay Roach. It is. It is. And I do have to say, Kerr, um, I, as, a, as a younger sibling and the baby who thinks yeah. I know the most of my family, <laughs> yeah. it was so great to kind yeah. of see that. Um, and so, but when you are playing as like, younger siblings are never easy to like get nail in right. television shows and yeah. things just because we're complicated people. Yes. But how do you kind of approach like being kind of the voice of reason in a situation like this show? God, I mean, there's so many things, right? So I think first of all, yes, being playing the, the, the youngest sibling, right, is kind of like, he has this look at me, look at me, notice me sort of thing. <laughs> but at the same time, he's grown up with someone like Peggy, who's just this wild child from day one. So I think he's looked at that and been like, that is not a good role model. I'm gonna go the you know, the counter opposite yeah. ways, but he's very like stuck in his ways then. So mm -hmm. there's a lot that he could learn from Peggy, I think. And I think that there's a lot that he almost secretly admires about her. The fact that she can reinvent herself at any moment, you know, whereas he's sort of very rigid, you know. Um, and and I, th I, I think the high desert itself, right? Just shooting in the desert and the, the fact that the show mm -hmm. takes place there is a perfect environment to show that, that she's very adaptable, that she can go with the flow. Whereas we are very like, kind of stuck and- Tightly wound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like the environment shows that of like, what is this? And you know, you're wearing heels in the right. desert and I've got my like stiff suits on and it's kind of like hot. And you know, so I, I think the show helped us like really, you know, paint, paint the picture of, of how the siblings uh, work in order, you know? Yeah, thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. And cool. can't wait for people to see the show. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.